Hey Simmers, today I'll show you ray tracing mode tutorial for Sims 4. But first let me see how it looks like in the rain, winter and summer. So the ray tracing mode is not heavy. I'm playing in 2K resolution with many graphics modes like relating, H mode, better texture visual and also I'm playing in ultra settings with 22 JB of CC. Also, the scenes I'm showing is Chanel Oberlin from Spring Kings and Chucky. Two of her stories projects that I'm working on the Sims 4. You can even change the ray tracing settings to make it lighter and more optimized for your computer. We'll see you later in this video. Now let's move on to the most important part of the video. How to download, install and configure spray tracing on the Sims 4. But before we start, I ask for your help by clicking the like button, subscribing to my channel and sharing the video with your Sims friends. First step, download the G-Shade mode for your The Sims 4. Go to G-Shade website, link available in the video description and use the Windows Installer option to download. Open the file. In this part, you can make it detect your game automatically or manually select the location where the exe file is located. Select 64-bit, then select DirectX 9, then Normal Mode. Also, should not install the Final Fantasy shaders because it won't work in The Sims 4. Then install. Remember that the credits go to Marty's Mods and Amoebe. The website is in the description. Now download the G Shade preset shaders configured by me on video description. Now put the file to Sims Light Ray Tracing shaders on your Sims 4 directory. Gaming, Ban, G Shade Presets, and Paste, or click and drag. Then put the files from the folder G Shade Addons in Sims 4 directory, Gaming, Ban, G Shade Addons. Now open the G Shade program, then go to Tools, Launch Converter, now select the folder where it is located the shader project. It's your Sims 4 directory, Gaming, Ban, G Shade project. And then now you go to Installations and select Update project. So now the installation is completed, let's see it working in the game. Open the game and press Shift my backspace, it will open this menu. Here you go to the top of the menu and select the file to Sims Light Ray Tracing Shaders. So let me show you my game settings. As you can see the game is running everything on ultra settings and also the resolution is 2K. The game was running in a good average FPS. Uh, but not the best of performance, but it's not bad too, it's necessary what I need for recording my Sims videos, Sims stories, movies and these things. So here's Chucky, beautiful, good Chucky. <laughs> Maybe the game is not running in the best performance because I have 22 GB of CC and I have a light mod. Also I have Egg Key mod, resolution 2K and these things makes the game performance go slower. 
So thank you for watching this video tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Also, I'm sorry for not being everything step by step because I am passing all my day here trying to edit, recording to my bad English. <laughs> I don't have a good pronunciation for my English language. But thank you for watching this video. Support my channel by uh, liking the video, subscribing to the channel and also sharing this video with friends, simmers and sims groups. Thanks for watching, bye bye!